guys. Chainsaw Chuck. Oh, this thing. Yeah, I know with all the stuff going around, I decided to be more safe, but I couldn't deal with it because it's so uncomfortable to try to breathe through this. So I cut a vent hole. I used to go around selling Christmas lights. Turned out people didn't really want to buy Christmas lights after Christmas. So now my new thing, I'm a door to door fireworks salesman. Mortar. Whisker dudes, whisker don't. I got Twizzlers and bottle rockets, can rockets. There's a total untapped market, booming business. No one sells door to door. Probably because it's not technically illegal. <laughs> but it's going pretty well for me. Pick my own hours. Old job, they would tell me when to take a smoke break. This one, the whole job is a smoke break. Get to ride my road hog all day, all night, whenever I want. She's a Harley, pretty fast. All the ladies love it. I'm done with that. I'm taking this off. I can't, I can't do it. I actually lost a finger once. Used to have 11 though, so it worked out. We got corporate events too. They take us to the days in where we can get, get this continental breakfast. A lot of people ask how I get it across the border. Well, I can't tell you. What is that? Neighbors must be burning. Can't tell you that, but these tires, I can tell you, you think they might be full of air? They're not. You ever made homemade fireworks? What is that? Oh God! That's not good. Uh, well, um, that was, I'm gonna go, uh, I gotta, uh, Before we get to the video, I wanna say thank you to you, all eight million of you. Eight million subscribers, that's insane. We just rolled over it a couple days ago, and it's crazy. And I remember thinking when I hit 1,000 subscribers, that's insane, that's crazy. 1,000 subscribers, that's like 500 times more friends than I have, and that's assuming you can count my mom and my invisible friend. I also wanna tell you about this month's subscription shirt. Every month we have a new, unique, cool, and funny design that comes out, and they're cheaper than our regular shirts. And there's a link in the description below if you'd like to sign up for your Demo Ranch subscription shirts. This month, Home is Where the Safe is, is pretty awesome design, and Liberty Safe actually liked it a whole lot, and they said they want to give away one safe to one of you guys, and all you have to do is post a picture wearing this shirt in a unique and creative way. So, link in description. Once you get the shirt, they'll all be shipped out at the end of the month. Post a picture on Instagram, and it needs to be funny. Whichever one makes me laugh the most, will win. I'll pick a winner and Liberty will send you a brand new stand up awesome gun safe. Also be sure to tag Liberty Safe, Dr. Demolition Matt, and Bunker Branding. All in the description below. Welcome to Demolition Ranch. My name is Matt and I am glad that you are here. Not too long ago we had a little barrel obstruction video and unfortunately all my barrel obstructions were cleared. What I did was pack 10 barrels with things that I thought would be progressively harder and eventually explode the guns. Turns out none of them did. Zero out of 10 of our barrel obstructions actually obstructed the barrels permanently. So I decided to take our high points, which is what we used in the first video, and take them into round two. If it gets a clean sweep through all of them again, I'll delete this YouTube channel because I don't even deserve to be a gun YouTuber. Number one, we've got a AAA battery hammered in there. Yeah, we hammered a battery, no big deal. Number two, that is actually a 45 caliber slug and there are four of them in the barrel hammered down in there. Number three is concrete and we did concrete before, but if you know anything about concrete, when they pour slabs and things at your house, they put rebar in it, they put steel through it. We did concrete again and put some wires through it to add strength. This concrete goes all the way down, the wires go all the way down. Number four, what if we just drill holes straight through the barrel and passed nails through it? These nails go straight through our barrel and come out the other side. Now we're actually gonna have to trim these so that our slide will close, because right now it's locked back a little bit, but we were leaving the nails going into the middle there. What about JB Weld? And this one has been curing for several days, so it should be completely dried and the barrel is full of JB Weld. We uh, wanted to try something a little different. We actually just pinched the barrel, <laughs> as you can see. So we got it in a vise, pinched it closed, 
grinded it so that it would still close and this slide will still rack back. And we are going to fire a round 45 ACP slug through a, <laughs> like a cat eye slit. So we got a piece of rebar, we grinded it down to where it fit and hammered it into the barrel. That rebar is stuck in there real hard. And as you can see, it's very long. Next up is one that was recommended a bunch by you guys, welding the barrel. And so we did it. As you can see, the barrel is completely welded closed. Everyone always talks about having a threaded barrel, right? Everyone thinks threaded barrels are so cool, right? You may notice there is no barrel obstruction. You may also notice that rifling sure looks tight in there. That's because that's not rifling. We threaded the inside of the barrel of this one. Oh, look what I have. A bolt. No, this is not. This is not going to work. <laughs> we threaded it so that it can take a bolt. And we are going to put this bolt all the way in the barrel and fire it. There is absolutely zero way that the bullet will come out of this barrel. I'm gonna bet my channel on it. Up first, number one, the battery in the high point. Safety's off. We're gonna have this string around the trigger and we're gonna go back behind cover and fire this thing safely. Would you look at that? The high point fired out the battery and looks good as new, ready to fire again. But can it do the same for concrete? There's only one way to know. <laughs> and not surprisingly, it didn't care that we added the rebar in there. Not one Bit. Next up is the nails, and you can see we trimmed them so that the slide will actually close so we can fire this thing, but they still go straight through that barrel. So two nails through the interior of the barrel probably won't stop a bullet. I have a feeling this will pass straight through like nothing. But you came to Demolition Ranch to find out. Now that chamber is loaded, but I was not in front of it. Just the camera. So safety is off. We're gonna go back behind cover and fire it through the nails. <laughs> well, I know for a fact that it fired out because we took a plate off. <laughs> I heard the dink and I was like, what the heck was that? A solid hit on the old Texas star. Let's see, where did we hit it? It's right there. Came through with plenty of power, enough to knock our plate down. Whoa, it took the jacket, like shredded the outside. So we had just like cut that hole in there with like a grinder, and so probably was not completely round in there. And so it just sheared off the bullet. Crazy. But locked the slide back, ejected the round, well, it would have if uh, that wood wasn't there. Insane, whoa. I think there's still actually a lot of the bullet left in there. Okay, I figured out what's going on. So there actually is still a piece of the nail in there. So that is the nail, there's one nail in there. So when you look down this barrel, that is the nail right there. One nail flew out, one stayed in, and it just sheared off that bullet. So I guess like half the bullet came out, the other half, it just sort of cheese grated it all. <laughs> on the barrel right there. So that is what would happen if you did a custom port job and you didn't know what you were doing. Just kind of shave your bullet and probably blow up in your face a little bit. But if it was a high point, would still cycle and be fine. Next up is JB Weld. Now this is starting to get in territory that I think could, could actually obstruct this barrel because JB Weld is super hard stuff and the barrel is full of it. But We've said that before. I'm not sure on this one. This one could go either way. Yeah, man, yeah. JB Weld barrel obstruction? 
High point don't care. Up next is the 45 ACP rounds that are shoved into that barrel. So I think, I think it's gonna kick him out. Yeah, after seeing that JB fly out like that, I think it's gonna shoot these things out too. I don't feel like they stand a chance. I was hoping for different results, but I'm not surprised. I'm not mad. I wasn't counting on that one. I am kind of counting on the next one to do something crazy though. High point five, Matt zero. That's okay, because up next, we've got the pinched barrel, which I'm really excited to see what happens. After seeing the nails shred that bullet, I assume that bullet is going to pinch itself and go through here. When a normal bullet flies out, it would make a nice round hole. I wanna see if this, when it comes out, just makes a weird, like, keyhole slot through there. Pinch tie point. Firing! Yeah, man, let's see what we got over here. I do see a non-circular bullet hole in that thing. And, oh, it split the barrel. Crazy. Okay, we're gonna have to open this thing up and look at it. It looks like it totally just split that barrel wide open. Bullet went out though. Bullet went down range somewhere. So it actually fired our guide rod, which is totally plastic, and our spring out, and I can't open the slide until I get rid of the spring, but it, it won't come out this way, so I'm trying to shove this stupid spring back in here. I actually learned this in High Point Armor School. This happens all the time. Oh, it's so close to going in. Just go in there. I might just get some wire cutters. Yep, that's what I'm gonna do. Probably would still work. <laughs> All right, now, there's that shell. Yes. Look at that crack all the way down that barrel. So barrels are super hard metal. Really, really hard, very brittle. And we had pinched it in here, and then when that bullet came through and spread it, it just made a crack on the bottom too. Crack go all the way down. Um, the problem is, we for sure, how slow that is when it's got half the spring. It still actually probably would work. Let's, let's find out. Would this thing still chamber around? It did. <laughs> I cut half the spring off. The barrel was crimped and then split and it chambers around still. <laughs> six and O, oh, six and O, oh, but not for long because we got rebar. <laughs> this rebar ain't coming out. This rebar is gonna make this gun explode. Kaboom, kaboom, high point. Get out of here, because you're gonna explode. Y'all ready? Let's do this thing. Goodbye, high point. It was nice knowing you. Not, it was terrible, I hate you. I don't even know why we're testing the rebar. There really is no reason because we all know what's gonna happen. High point. Firing! Yes! Thought I was gonna have to go check it. Oh! Uh, something happened. We did eject back, locked the slide back, but. And I see rebar on the ground over there. But that's a bullet. That's a bullet stuck in a barrel. So the bullet went up around that rebar and then made a perfect little concave thing and then got wedged in the barrel. We made a barrel obstruction with a bullet and threw that rebar down range. Now the real question will be, if we fire another bullet through here, if this is a true barrel obstruction, it won't clear. If it's just a little like sitting in there, no big deal thing, the second bullet will fire this thing right out. So we're gonna load a bullet in this same gun, just like this, and fire it one more time. We actually have a bit of a problem. Uh, I can't get the slide to go forward or backwards. I think it may have swelled that slide a little bit. So this, I actually learned this in week two of High Point Armor School. All right, it went back. Oh, it locked itself again. Okay, I think we're free. Why does it go back for a second then? That just stops. Okay, there we go. Okay. Oh, our barrel's swollen. So, 
I don't know if you can see this, but we have a slight swell in that barrel. Okay, here's what we gotta do. Load a round in, hammer the gun shut. That's the only way. Live round, not the smartest thing I've ever done. I'm gonna keep this pointed down range. Okay, I need to get this thing to go into full battery. Oh, easy as that, guys. We're ready to rock. I hope you know I'm giving you a second chance, a, a chance to redeem yourself, a chance to not look so silly and like a terrible gun like you are. Let's see what you got, High Point. Fire it! And just like that, High Point locked its slide all the way back and cleared its barrel. <laughs> the High Point, good to go. Good to go. I made a, a little deal with you guys, and I think you guys know I was just kidding. That was that was locker room talk. I, I put the channel on the line. I was just playing. Like it wasn't it wasn't for real. Um, you know, I had my fingers crossed. You guys probably didn't see it. It was off camera. We didn't. We did not shake. We did not shake on it. So obviously, not a deal. My meemaw said, never make deals on Sundays. And today, today, today's, today's totally Sunday. So that that was just a joke. That was just a joke. Um, getting a little nervous because we do have all these high points that have survived every test we've thrown at them so far. Ten in the other video, seven today plus the little extra one, so sort of eight when we cleared that last barrel obstruction. I have two guns left that I am confident are going to stop it. It's a mosquito. So what I'm going to do is I am going to make a bet with you guys, and I don't have to shake on this bet. Cause it's a, this is just a man to man. This is a real man bet. My word is good. I'm gonna put a lot on the line for you guys because I'm so confident. If both of these guns let it through, we have weld and we have a threaded barrel with a bolt. If both of them let the bullet through, I, Matt Carricker, will never, will never say another bad word about high points. And that is saying a lot because I hate these guns more than anything. Weld, there's just no way. It cannot get, it's welded shut, literally welded shut. There's no way. The gun's gonna explode. Goodbye, high point. Goodbye. That's not good. Uh, definitely stopped the bullet and cracked our weld. Yeah, I mean, there's definitely missing metal. There was metal, more metal there. There's a huge crack in it right here. Ugh, let's take this thing apart and see what we got. But I don't know what happened down here. I mean, it just, where'd the mag go? It shot the mag out, went ahead and did a quick eject there. And then looks like it just broke this which dropped this down. Let me take this to my armor school. There's some things I learned on day three. Feeling pretty good. Feeling pretty good right now because we finally stopped a high point. It did make us totally weld the whole barrel shut, but we stopped it. It's gonna be very hard for that bullet to make it through here. Let me just get this thing all tightened up. Just wanna make sure that I've done everything I can do. Okay, so we have a bolt threaded in this high point barrel. Yes, here's the welded one. I was trying to figure out how we could get this thing apart and I broke the lower off of it. We have successfully destroyed one high point. I wonder if the warranty will cover this. Oh uh, yeah, it just broke. I don't know what happened. It all comes down to this. There is zero possible chance that that bullet can push through all those threads and come out of that barrel. But we're gonna give it the old college try. Here goes the bolt. There's just no way. <laughs> Sucker! Cheer all 
big and bad. Look at you now. Look at you now. Big old swollen barrel right there. Very swollen. And there's like smoke coming out of the gun. Uh. Sweet. Sweet. It did lock back the slide though, which is impressive. But yeah. Nothing's coming through that. High points. Cheap. Ugly. Gangbanger guns. Throwaway guns. No one actually likes them, even their mom. No one would ever want a high point. Most guns have drop safeties. This one doesn't even stay together when you drop it. It just breaks in half. The high points are the worst gun that has ever, ever been invented. You should be ashamed to have one. You don't want to even have a friend who has one. They're the worst. You guys have been asking to see how many high points it would take to stop a 50 cal. Well, not only is that wasteful, it's irresponsible, it's not safe, and it's just plain dumb. And I would never do that. Ever. Thanks for watching Demolition Ranch. I love you! And I'll see you next time. Contact! That's a great idea. <laughs> what about the quad hawk? Bobby? I'm a doctor. Ish.